Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You know who I am, Cuz Harris on the Internet's favorite man child, Lord of the Basement Dwellers, and Demon of Madison County. So I'm just reacting to uh, something that popped up um, in the recently uploaded. Um, usually I just look up random things and go uh, recently uploaded. And there's this video by Wendy's Eating Show, which is one of those mukbanging channels. So before I get into it, if you're watching content or morbidly curious about these individuals and YouTube channels, make sure you're watching them on the Brave browser. So that way you're not contributing to their lifestyle, which is essentially them committing uh, seppuku by eating. So just here we go. And there's one common trend with all these channels is uh, we'll get into that, but just here we go. Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Eating Show, and... Hello, Wendy. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am really, really sad. Like, I've been wanting to cry all day. Just thinking about it is, like, making me <laughs> cry right now. because you guys see these patterns oh. you can't even shed a real tear come on me leaving and coming and and this is me I have over a million subscribers engaging in manipul uh, emotionally manipulating people like boogie2988 because I'm, I'm a piece of shit. I have to do this, you know. I, I have to leave YouTube and act like these comments uh, affect me. <laughs> Wait, you break. guys think that I'm taking a break. I'm on vacations. I'm having fun. And the most... Why aren't you? That's my question. Popular comment. Like for... Uh, influencers and YouTubers is that all oh, they're coming back because they need money. Hey, that's what I just commented. No, oh, she's she's already removed it. Top notch. That is not true. Obviously, it's true because why else would you be continuing to make videos even though it's abusive? You. Fucking dull. I'm not buying that for one minute. My P.O. box did not disappear out of the blue. I actually wanted to quit YouTube like forever. And but I decided it's just easy money, you know, feeding my fat ass to a bunch of feeder fetishists. That's just the easiest life for me. Why should I, you know, look for honest work and when I can just pretend like I get offended by comments and stuff my face as a career? That's why. To be fair, I, you know, if I could do that, I would fucking do that. I don't have a P.O. box anymore. A lot of people are messaging me, commenting that, um... Okay, let's kick up the tempo on this. They miss sending me stuff night. that they wish they could send me stuff. But um, you guys do not know what happens behind my life. You guys just see like the videos that I upload and all my videos aren't me. I see gold chains. I see like what like, probably a designer couch in the background. Oh yeah, I bet your life is just fucking hard, isn't it? Oh, sweet cheeks. Be happy, you know, eating, enjoying myself. And it took me forever to come back once again this time 2021 like I've had friends and family tell me Wendy go back to YouTube they miss you they miss you and that is true a lot of you guys message me and comment on my videos that you guys miss me and now that I come back and I start doing videos for you guys all you guys have to all you guys have to um tell me is that Wendy change your clothing like really like it took me so long for me to come back in
And that's what you're broken up over. Someone telling you to change their clothes. People giving their fucking opinion. That's, it's, you know, on my main channel, before I got banned, I had people telling me to kill myself. Um, and other nice comments. And she's been out of shape over someone telling her to change her clothes. Grow some thicker skin. All you guys can judge is on my clothing. I'm like, this is not a fashion show. This is an eating show. Sorry. And this is getting really annoying. Like, You know what's getting annoying? These fucking mukbanger channels who do this shit all the time. And you know what pisses me off? <laughs> So these people fucking get all the subscribers and views. Hmm. Maybe I should just start shoveling food in my fat ass. Don't you guys comment that like, I like this look. I like it. Like, why are you guys making me change? And the worst part is that you- No one's making you dipshit. They're just giving an opinion. You guys comment and then there's other people commenting backing their comments up like oh my gosh i know it looks like she ate all that food on a day or that she's wearing the same clothes like all day and it's just what do you mean all day did you do a live stream with people telling you this because then it wouldn't be all day it would just be comments in the video but then again if you have if you accumulate more than one million subscribers some of those are gonna be haters. You guys will never know how it feels to be a YouTuber. Yeah, we won't. We won't know how it feels to make easy fucking money on the internet. You're right about that. It's easy for you to comment, like, whatever you want to comment, but that comment stays behind. I see it. My son is starting to get involved with on my YouTube. Like, he wants to be more involved, but as you guys notice, I have always kept him, like, I've always kept him on the low key on the side because this this is the welcome you guys gave me start judging me like i barely came back i barely have like what seven videos 10 i already must count in you guys went like that you guys are quick to judge um if you don't like it get off the internet stop making content find an alternate form of income or not let shit get to you one to two that's why i always leave it's not because I went on vacation. It's because you guys are that quick to judge. You guys don't give me a break. Nothing. That's why it's so hard for me to come on YouTube to do videos. Because of comments like you guys. So that's why you uploaded a 10 minute fucking video complaining about it. And it's just so unfair. <sighs> that's another thing about these mug bangers. You wouldn't know real struggle if it came up and beat your ass with a switch. <laughs> the sniffling. Wow. You wouldn't know what it's like. Yeah, you're right. Again, we wouldn't, and we will ever know what it's like. But you know what? Most of us could probably take the criticism, criticism and negative comments. Oh, you're gonna milk this shit till judgment day, aren't you? I don't want to leave YouTube. I don't. But you guys are really, really pushing me away. I come back. I do. Emotional manipulation. Get them internet bucks. Emotional manipulation, just like Boogie2988, yeah. I do come back, but one day I'm not gonna come back ever again. Oh really? What, is that suicide baiting or are you just being a tard? If you guys keep on, like, doing what you guys are doing. <sighs> Don't give your opinion or I'll neck myself. <laughs> My spaghetti is cold. I make spaghetti. <laughs> I'll give you what you guys. <laughs> Put your spaghetti in the microwave and reheat it up, that dumbass. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, and that's the same thing with whether it's Chantel, Foodie Booty, or no. F yeah, Foodie Booty, Chantel, and all these other channels. It's like, have solutions for your problems instead of move forward.
I'm hungry. <laughs> but it's cold. I, I, I literally feel my brain cells killing themselves watching this. I got this last from Costco. I really like Costco. So I'm barely trying it. It's the first time that I used this sauce from Costco. I like it. It's good. Yeah, you said that three times in a fucking row. We get it. You like the sauce from Costco. Cool beans. I said I wasn't going to cry, but... <sighs> Just thinking about everything... Like, don't get me wrong, YouTube has made me really happy. I've met so many of you guys. So many comments, messages. But I'm human too. Oh, really? No shit, I thought you were a fucking whale. And I, and I guess today. I'm going through those days. What are those days where I get... Almost 2,000 views on video, make fucking money, crying, pretending to cry, and eat cold spaghetti. Okay, let's kick it up the speed again. For some I'm sorry, you guys. It's not pretty. When you see videos like this, YouTubers crying. No, it's not pretty, pretty, and you know what you're doing. Again, emotional manipulation. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to This cold. We know your spaghetti's cold. This is the third time you fucking said it. Mm. My spaghetti is cold. My spaghetti is so cold. Then put that shit in the microwave. That's the second time I've said that. Holy shit. It's sad that this video is going to go on YouTube because my friends and family watch my videos and this is not cute. If you didn't want them seeing it, if it's not cute if or it's not pretty, then why shoot it and upload it in the first place? Hmm. Really makes you wonder. Because someone needs to make the e-dollars. Oh my god, this fucking video almost over. Holy shit. That was absolutely painful. I think I would rather engage in cock and ball torture <laughs> than uh, having to be put through another one of those kind of videos like ever I'm, I'm fucking dead serious like step on my dick <laughs> rather than <laughs> and see that's the thing about all these mug banger channels it's all the same shit the Wendy's eating show y y if you've seen one mug banger they're all like this they all use emotional manipulation. They all pretend like they're being affected mentally. And they purposely fail diets. Because then that adds to the mystique of their channel. And there's just people out there who will find this shit entertaining. I don't blame them. 
But again, there's a large populace of humanity that are feeders. They uh, they they get off to this shit. So like that whole ten minutes, guaranteed, there's some sick fetishistic like bastard like flogging his meat. There there's sickos out there into this shit, and uh, yeah, that was Wendy's eating show. What a riveting, what a riveting great show, huh? It was fantastic. Fun, exciting. That's the kind of great A entertainment we sus- suspect from YouTube. Just great. Anyways, drop a like if you like cold spaghetti. Drop a dislike if you have to get your fat ass up and put that spaghetti in the microwave. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. And oh my god, I'm gonna start picking up drinking as a hobby.